the issue of Italy was not new. It was not beginning in 1992, but again, since my childhood was already present. Next to Berlin, uh, at a later time, however, I was also hijacked to Italy. I, the city, the most involved in Italy, uh, during what used to be a Yugoslavia, uh, it's probably the best I related to so far, the longest, the city that was involved it, uh, from Italian side, it's a Slovenian city. It's an old Slovenian city, but it was occupied by Italians and it remained in Italy. I'm going to put it this way, just like a Trieste. Just like Trieste. Was none other than Gorica. That is the city right here that you see. It's called now Gorizia. This here. This was the city Italians uh, in Gorizia were insane to host me because they very, very, very much enjoyed a torture procedure that went on on Yugoslav side. The Italians were excited about the UNA, about the Yugoslav National Military. This probably the ship here with this Italy started already with when I was probably age eight. They would Yugoslav military officers would start to torture me on this used to be Yugoslavian side on the other side of the border, not Slovenian. Slovenia was just a republic of Yugoslavia. And they were really, really thrilled to see me torture it on the Yugoslav side and returning back to these officers on the Yugoslav side. Drugged up I was. I would not do stuff like this if I was not drugged up. But I was severely tortured, drugged up, and they intimidated, and I returned back with everything I had as a child. And it seems like it left like a deep, deep, deep marks on Italian side of the border. They were, oh yeah, look what is happening over there in Yugoslavia. And so on. now you have Yugoslavia and the people whom we occupied and they're on our side of the border, they are safe. Basically, this was the Italian misinterpretation of what very, very much was their fault to Slovenian people on Italian side, to Slovenian people on Slovenian side, uh, to the world, for the world to see themselves in them, rather than, you know, I don't think anybody should ever see himself in Yugoslavia, but still, nobody saw itself in me. And the worst, the one who screwed me in the back the most and was the closest to Slovenia were the people from Gorica on Italian side. As soon as Yugoslavia was finished, as soon as Yugoslavia was gone of the picture, the people of Gorica no longer wanted to know anything from me. The torture proceeded all the way to Rome through the Italy. It always was all the way to the Rome. I don't know what the hell they brought me to the Rome for. I don't know what they were bringing me there for. I'm no miracle child. I'm just somebody, despite genocide, you, I should say United Front of Genocide was unwilling and unwilling to bend in front of any other than God. I pity Rome, I pity Vatican. I don't see myself in Vatican even a little bit. I can see myself in Vatican as much as, much as exactly I can describe this stuff here that went on. This issue definitely is related to Slovenia. Uh, Slovenian police hijacking to the city of Milano were not new. Uh, during the Tito times in Yugoslavia, I had noticed in this area here, Šempeter Vigorica, Nova Gorica, uh, it was light trafficking. Um, I think the officers, police officers, police, Yugoslav police with Italian carabinieri, I think they trafficked smaller stuff. I think cigarettes, but it's possibly also drugs and stuff like this. That they, they use me for that kind of stuff. It's also why I was so popular. I think it was stuff that went on. I don't know what Josip Broz Tito was so excited about. Josip Broz Tito was very excited about having me here, and he was like eager. He was like an eagle, man, asking the police, his police, if they got it, if they got it. It appears that Josip Broz was smuggled something through the border here, through the, through the area of Gorica, Italian Gorica, Slovenian Gorica. 
that it was some kind of trafficking contraband they trafficked through this border. Josip Brostito was extremely excited. At the same time, he got opportunity to, to depict me as an anti-Yugoslav, as a traitor of Yugoslavia, right along the borders of what used to be northern part of Yugoslavia at the time, not Slovenia. Okay? The Republic of Slovenia. As for the Israel, as far as, as much as I can come close to, this here, I'm going to put the link below. This link here, I'm going to put you below so you can read about Vatican, you can read about the Ivan Rupnik, a uh, Slovenian guy who was, who did punk himself also in this area, a later worked for the Vatican. What's also interesting and also pertains to this news, it's also like that. Is this one here? <clears throat> this uh, game that Mike Johnson triggered, it all started with Mike Johnson appearing on a stage. This is this was like a code, like a code word for my taking anti-Italian side because of what he did with me inside of the U.S. Congress. This man led torture in the name of the Italy against me inside of the U.S. Congress for no less at least 20 years. He ran private war, Italian war against me inside of the U.S. Congress. This man is apprentice, a student. of Kevin McCarthy. This individual who stepped previously down as a speaker. This is a student. This man was a student. This is a student. This is a Democrat. This is a Republican, but this is a student of Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the man who built this man from zero, from scratch. Before he left to the school, this was apprentice from Joe Biden, unlikely because it's a Democrat, but this guy here is a Republican. His apprentice is the man who I already have support, uh, demonstrated you, Mike Johnson. What is related, it's the two issues more that are related to triggering anger in me against Italians in this case. That's the reference related to Israeli ambassador from Ljubljana that you see right there, who just prior to the war outbreak between Gaza, Palestinian part of Gaza, remaining part of the Palestine known as Gaza, and Israel issued the article through Slovenian website, not through Slovenian website, but through Slovenian media, in which this individual, his name is Zev Booker, incited me, and all this article, the most important was this stuff here, which is in which one is suggesting that for those that suggest Israel to be seen as an apartheid, none are sitting inside of the shelters in Ljubljana while the rockets would flare, fly on Slovenia from Hungary, Hungarian, Italian, and Croatian side. And it was exactly what this individual stated to me in front of Slovenian media agencies, in front of Slovenian mainstream media, government services, on how I should interpret interpretate this news to get through and how I should just bend down, be quiet in respect to Israel. Contrary to the Israeli side from Israel, which demanded 
confrontation with me. They are the ones they got into the war with me, not only through the torture, but they literally bullets through the involvement of people that were involved in MK Ultra, with some they presented as the hostages, etc. What would be if I would confront them? My case, your case will never go through. You will never make it, and so on. People, I lost 51 years of life because of this. 51 years of life. The world that we live in equals to the lie, no more to the life. This is worse than what Adolf Hitler, Benito Mussolini, envisioned for the world. We are in a matrix of death. And the people I am pointing out, some are not contrary to what we see today, opposed to the mansion sites. Today, they are taking the lead in what Hitler, Mussolini did just 80 years ago. This, we're involved in it. This was another news, and this is the news that also directly connects to the news. Which I published today is related to the terrorist attack of Yemen's Houthi rebels on Israel. Completely surreal, unrealistic, intercepted attack over the Egypt in an area of over 500 kilometers away from Gaza by Israeli anti-rocket system, anti-air defense system. What bothers me is that Israel used me through United States of America to example me, actually, excuse me, to example them. And it was not the only terrorist group. They got this impoverished people from all over the world, whatever these fractions would somehow exist, and they would arm them, pointing them out, me, to them, on how I jam Slovenia, on how I fight against Slovenia, on how I am causing the ripples, and eventually those are going to break in war between Slovenia and Italy. Tiny Slovenia against Italy, basically. Central Intelligence Agency used me as a commercial, as the way to point the terrorists, the way on how to take that government down. It's basically engaging in attack from their soil, from their part of the country, on a neighboring soil, on a neighboring country, then trigger attack, response from across the border. That's exactly what we have seen in Gaza. United States of America government used me in Gaza for this operation. They paraded me in front of Hamas, and they also paraded in front of me, in this case, alone, Concerning Yemen is Houthi rebels. Exactly the same thing. They use me. What is it? This, in other words, he, you supported the Putin, Russian, Russo Serbian genocide against me because I don't even exist. You used me to take down the Soviet Union. Then you used me to befriend Putin, to befriend those whom you have used me to take them down. Then you used me to advertise me in a way I have explained to the terrorist groups across the world to trigger what some people refer to even as four flag attacks to get response, NATO response, to get a response from neighboring countries and so on. So that means that you jammed me, that means that you, that you f cluster fucked me at the courts 
for human rights. That means that you were behind, you were the main supporter, you, the NATO, were the main supporter of Vladimir Putin in my case. You supported domestic violence. You were the one who enforced forced unemployment. You were the one who enforced proofs for the people whom I have demonstrated earlier. The opposition, the so-called opposition from Milan Kuchin. Vagat, you were the one who enforced these statements for their sake. As to not have ability anymore to continue with this kind of procedure. But as the only way it would be possible if you would portray me as a traitor. Now I'm talking about Ursula von der Leyen. I'm talking about the European politicians. I'm talking about the parliament in Brussels. What kind of union is this European Union in that case? What do we have inside the US Congress, inside the White House in them? What is it? Is it Palermo? Is it Rome in White House? What do we have? A mafia? Do we have a fascist association? What do we have? A Benito Mussolini inside of the White House? We have a Benito Mussolini inside of the US Congress. Then you have to let the people know about this stuff. You have to inform the world that you work under a terrorist guide, guidance, and the rules such as Bill of Rights and US Constitution no longer apply to the citizens of the United States of America, which I became in 2000. The issue of uh, Italian military on a border with Slovenia, in a little bit I'm going to demonstrate to you, only was, as was promised by Italian side, would be published in Slovenian language, nothing in English language. They did not even believe me, during, according to MK Ultra, time-wise, if I would compare, that I would publish this uh, immediately. They told me, even if it's going to be a month, two, three, still, it's going to be only in Slovenian language. Uh, just a moment here. Just a moment, just a little moment here. We're gonna break, we're gonna do like a little break here. What's also interesting is this here. Now, I was taking a short break and it's always the Google that makes sure that lists me on the side interesting people that were involved in MK Ultra. Well, these people here that you see. This is, this is from The Hill. This is American outlet, uh, mainstream media outlet. This is the simultaneously was taking place during the brainwash. Well, this here, basically, talking about Italian military, talking about Mike Johnson, talking about this video on general. This was like under MK Ultra. It's, there was no MK Ultra, it's a bestiality, first of all, supported by a total sleepless shit. They sit you and they fucking sit you and sit you days without sleep. And they push it down the throats, issues like this. That's, first of all, that we understand each other what this is. This is killing person, basically. This is taking away maybe from somebody, maybe 20, 30 years of life. Okay? You're not talking about here, meow, meow, meow. You're talking about basically killing people, killing individual in front of a laptop, not only taking one step that I have talked this is this is this is uh, this is a crime bestiality that is unimaginable proportions that was enforced by the US government. Yet it's mother and father of all genocides the world have seen. Yet it's like you don't fucking have any purpose. Your your birth, your existence is without any fucking purpose. It's like you've been subjected in some kind of a virtual space into a total abuse. I guess. They're going to need this to enforce their ways, their views. But in this case, I have to tell you contrary. This young couple was involved in it. A new in-depth. Not the means to win the war, only the means to survive it, according to a longtime member of his couple, team. This profile also This girl and this boy appeared to me on the side. I was, it was like two hours ago. And that's exactly when I hit with this stuff here. I published this stuff about uh, really giving my protest as much as I possibly could do against Italian state. I don't think that Italian state uh, expected this kind of confrontation with me. 
because it's well articulated it's well uh, it's well explained i point out very well how what exactly i expect from the u.s government from the european institutions on how to view this italian bestiality uh, coordinated with the vladimir putin with the russians with the serbs with the foremost slovenian government u.s government scandinavians germans Wow, any, more than anybody else, British. British were obsessed with Italians that would solve this problem. British royals were crazy about Italians solving this problem, yeah? Now, I don't think, look, they have expected that. I think they expected something else. Uh, they, as we say in Slovenian language, we say butni, buten, butati. Uh, they hit with the head against the wall anyways, pointing me out this video here that you see. The two portrayed on the internet and I left them a juicy comment just as I promised that too I would leave them during MK Ultra. I gave them a nice Giovanessa below which was dedicated to Benito Mussolini. I only have to read you this here. E per Benito Mussolini, per la nostra patria bella and so on and so forth. It's a beautiful fascist song Italians used to point out their valor against other neighbors and also people in Ethiopia, they ran over with the tanks, Somalia, and so on. Uh, look, I also addressed the two with a comment. United States of America is not Italy, and the two must have mistaken the countries, or I should say even when it comes to the European Union, as far it goes for the values. Uh, they are talking about Zelensky's corruption here. Uh, okay, there is no tomorrow in Ukraine for the Ukrainian government. Okay, well, it's not. what's not okay is the two threatened me against use uh, going against Italians. Uh, the, two, the two are not Italians, actually. I, I've seen this guy during MKUltra. No, I'm telling you, the two were involved in it. So it says no, that Zelensky people. feels betrayed by his Western allies. And, that, uh, and he's really... This guy looks like Italian. Not really, and yes, really. If you look, Mike Johnson, more or less, because he appeared at that time, he appeared this when they orchestrated with MKUltra how Johnson is going to become Speaker of the House together with McCarthy. They, they orchestrated the pool at the same time this stuff, and this guy also appeared with his girl, because I went... Uh, Let's say ballistic during MK Ultra, I totally rejected Italian side because of the threats against Ukraine. You are not going to say that, and you're going to start to see how it's going to rain from all the sides against Ukraine and so on and so forth, and you're going to lose the war. I'm not fighting the war. I'm not the one who's fighting the war. You're, for one thing, you're completely mistaken. I did my war. You did fucking nothing. You still have diapers on. That's one thing. I don't know how they get you to torture somebody like myself, but that's. United States of America, what can I tell you? Um, this fine couple is not Italian. Now, I let them a juicy comment here. They should go pretty much. They should repatriate themselves to Italy. Because it was a fascist message they carried out during MK Ultra. It was a fascist message I sensed based on their feedback in respect to Ukraine. Because... It doesn't have anything to do with my views, because it's got to do with Europe, because it's got to do with what the United States of America and NATO are advertising. That's basically freedom. Those are the issues of a free world. It's to what I was subjected to in Gorizia, in the border with the Slovenian Yugoslav back then, an Italian border with Italians so much pledging uh, to assist me to, I don't know what, even bringing up gestures on how they would adopt me, and I don't know what. That kind of stuff went on. Shit like this can happen only in Italy. There's a lot of stuff that applies to Ponte Rosa in Italy. It's a prostitution, it's all kinds of stuff that you couldn't find in any part of the Europe during the time of Yugoslavia. You couldn't see stuff like this. Barely in the world you could find the stuff like this. But when it comes to humiliation, see they didn't humiliate me, you didn't fucking humiliate me. You humiliated yourself. How the fuck you say to somebody you're going to adopt him, a child, basically, save him from the hell on the other side of the border, and you do this just to fuck him, basically, just to cause him a harm, assisting some killers over there to, to rip him apart. 
uh, you know, humiliate me, but it just goes to show this bestial Italian character, this real Italian character that has no fucking limits on how low it can go. It's strange, but I don't like that kind of character because it has no personality. Whichever way the wind blows, you understand? Whichever way the wind, uh, wind blows, easy come, easy go, but it could be anthem of Benito Mussolini, the real Italian anthem. I don't like that kind of attitude. I don't do it because I don't do the business like this. Because my word is worth something. Because I'm not a flying pig. That goes from one side to the other, basically, whichever way the wind blows. I don't do the stuff like this. I take the responsibility. It's about resp taking responsibility for your actions, for the stuff you do. Not about going out there like a clown and just walking all over people's lives, destroying people, nations, and recreating your picture but that's okay because this is italy and if if it's to expect from anybody this kind of attitude definitely it's from italians the history repeat itself it was benito mussolini and it was adolf hitler and we have a pretty much identical situation repeating itself all over the europe again this couple here was supposedly even concerned for my well-being because i made a lot of noise they would clearly come to slovenia and would give me their little speech they did not found anything like this that Italy would be interested in entering Slovenia and so on and so forth. They were assuring me. And that's why I said a little earlier, usually it would be for other reasons. But in this case, it appears to me like because of what I stated when it concerns this couple, they weren't trying to assure me that, not assure me, because during MK Ultra, it's not the people like this they only participate. It's other people who also listen. Your ifs drop. They, they use a the surveillance on you. They bug you. And then they listen to what people say and so on and study and this and that. And it became to me evident like they are trying to assure Slovenian side like there's nothing to worry about. Like you're a part of the NATO and everything is okay. Uh, this is like a part of the safe world and this and that. This ain't no fucking part of the safe world. Being around you is not safe for one thing. That's the number one thing. It's not safe being around you. You can tell me this is a part of the same world. You, you are a freedom oriented and so on and so forth. You can never correct. I was going to say, when you correct this, you fuck you. You can never, can you correct taking somebody 51 years of life, something that starts at age six months, treating one like a pig that you use the fucking vaccine injections for the human experimentation purposes. You think you can correct this shit, throw him inside a psychiatric hospital after you do all that stuff? You're going to go, you're going to take him? How old are you kids? I'm 52 almost, in December I'm going to be 52 on December the 9th. How the fuck you dare to go like this and give somebody... What are you trying to tell? Did you try to resolve this? Did you appeal to the US government and say, what the fuck are you doing with this guy? I mean, if you're worried for me, I got to ask yourself, I got to ask myself, am I even a human being in your eyes? Do I look like a human being? Because that's a good question. It's a good question because you set example for other people. Not only through my eyes, but you did set example for other people. Through their eyes when they watched you doing this shit. When they watched you enforcing this stuff. What the fuck are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? That what? What are you trying to say? You're trying to assure what? That all the statements that you obtained from me, that you what? I Actually, I don't even know who you're trying to assure with this kind of speech here. Are you trying to assure me that what? That what United States of America government and Italian government did was to help Slovenia. There was it was in Slovenian interest. Maybe what are you trying to? Because you are guaranteeing me that it was no danger that you investigated. There was no danger from Italian side. What the fuck are you saying to me? You you try to assure me that everything between me and between the Italy is okay? Man, Italy was doing a nasty, filthy stuff. It started at age eight, if not maybe even earlier. It didn't stop. In 1992, as I explained in this video, he went into something completely else. I ended up being guilty for hijackings, which British royals, Italians, other NATO members enforced to Bosnia for the sake of Serbs, Bosnian Serbs, Serbs, and Russians, where they supported literally a genocide, a massacre. At one point, involving United troops of United Nations, literally, they would not even act against atrocities the Serbs were committing. 
and was delivered to the Italy and imprisoned in the area of Rome and other cities, blamed for genocide in, in Srebrenica and stuff. Did you understand what the fuck you were saying? You're not making any fucking sense with this stuff. I know that you're not Italians, but I hate to say, I hate to see you posing as an American. I hate the fact that you have American citizenship, that you're from the States. And you know what? It's my naturalized right to see you as a shit. I know you're not Italians, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't change any fuck about this. Because you took the side that you shouldn't. It was anti-American side. It was a side of the terrorism. But of course, in your eyes, it's not the terrorism. It's a state-sponsored terrorism. I get it. The second article, I don't have anything else to say about one other than there is nothing, as you're about to see. Nothing in English language that would suggest Italian military on the border with the Slovenia. There is no such thing. There's nothing that would, they would point out there is something like this happened a day ago or something like this. None of that stuff. They told me even if it's going to go months, nothing is going to be in English. I go and I break this down. All I want to tell you is this kind of stuff was already done to me. As I'm gonna, you're gonna see in a continuation, it was it's a repeated operation from Italian military, from Italian uh, Trieste mayor. They would with the Slovenian police, they would coordinate, they would they would hide me around Trieste and they would demonstrate me, like they were trying to demonstrate some kind of impotency, like as if I was the one who wanted to change the border between the Italy Slovenia, as if I was the one who invited Italians to uh, assault Slovenia, or basically do invasion on Slovenia. It's like both sides were assuring one another uh, that uh, everything is under control. That everything is under control. This is basically how they, they articulate. There is nothing really here. You're not going to find anything here about uh, Italian military along the Slovenian border other than in Slovenian language. That's all in Slovenian language. See, a day ago, Italianic, Italianic, Namea Slovenia, all this, Golopi Gran is immigrant, Italian, Italian is vice Namea, and so on and so forth. This is the stuff the Italian government claimed me uh, that I have to keep my mouth shut, and so on and so forth. Look, I'm not, I'm not talking this stuff, because this is, this is really, I, I don't know how to see this stuff. And I don't want you to get the wrong impression about this stuff. I'm not doing this to justify to this shit here. I'm not doing this to justify this stuff to the diapers here. I'm not responsible for the diapers that stink from behind the cameras. I'm not, I'm not responsible for these kids. I'm responsible for myself. I'm not even responsible for Slovenian state. Or actions of Italian fascist state. Italian state is a fascist state because it's a, hate, it's a hatred, it's a hateful. You don't do the stuff like this unless you want to sing Giovanessa, basically. Unless you want to sing the song of Benito Mussolini, which Italy already did. Unfortunately for Italy and for the Slovenian side, both sides of my parents were in the lines of the partisans in the national resistance against Italian fascism occupation of the city of the Novo Mesto, against German occupation in Slovenia. Unfortunately, for both sides, they were assuring one another that everything is okay and everything's gonna be okay. Uh, look, I don't give a fuck what you do. You can go and you can put yourself Italian flag or you can put yourself German or whatever the fuck you want to do. This really is your problem. All I know is. You managed to fuck also my American citizenship. Oh, so it's about American citizenship? Not really. I went to the United States of America because of Gorica, because of Gorizia, because of Berlin. Remember? Remember what you turned my life into? Not really. This is a stuff of Slovenian military. Uh, Slovenian police, Slovenian Itali uh, Italian police, Italian mi military already justified that stuff to me. Uh, as you're about to see in continuation in 2015, I'm going to go over and I'm going to quickly give you a glimpse also about things that were involved, also about the stuff I was taught. 
uh, even as I stated, even as I stated, this is all from Slovenian press here, Slovenian posts in English and stuff like this. This is other stuff. When it comes to Italy rain states border control in Slovenia, I don't give a fuck about that. I want to know about the military. Military issues are the one, not a police. Police is a civil related issue. When it comes to military, that's a completely different issue, you know? Um, when I look at the stuff like this, uh, and I take this, this, and it's exactly what appears in front of me, and I, I have no fucking time for this stuff. I'm just gonna go like this. Yeah, okay, there you go. And I'm gonna open the screen because this Decision is part of Italy, broader strategy to enhance domestic security. You're gonna see all this stuff in continuation. All this stuff I was demonstrating in my culture. They told me if you're gonna enter this world in the search engine, it's gonna be this. If you're gonna enter this, it's gonna be this. So if you're gonna enter Italian military border Slovenia, it's gonna display only Italy has currently range states with border control, but nothing about the military. When you go like this, it's not gonna be nothing about the military and so on and so forth. I'm gonna repeat to you, I don't give a three shit. What is it you do? The stuff you do. You have to always do, as I told you, whatever is in your best interest, but the things that are the best for you, the people, on both, obviously, sides of the borders. Or individually, in whichever side of the border you're located. This is none of my problem. My problem was that I was born here. My problem was that I wasn't let go even when I departed to the United States. Practically escaped the United States, really, in 95. And I didn't have a peace when I returned back from the States and I immigrated back to the States and I was changing States and running all over the Europe. You know, and all in all, it's not about American citizenship. The problem is, here in Slovenia, what took place. And the circumstances that you have used throughout Europe in the United States of America to support the genocide from here. That's where the problem is. It's not so simple. It's not about, it's, oh, so it's about this. Oh, it's about that. You know, it's been almost 52 years of this stuff. 51 years for real. It's not such an easy, it's a pretty complex issue. It's a very difficult to be held, especially to be held responsible for one. And when I consider, and I was trying to do my best to avoid to throw in a plate Italian state, I would even say, in a way, I regret this, doing this stuff. But it's just going to have to be done in a such a way so that justice, Italian hypocrisy, the thirst for genocide, for blood, is going to be satisfied at international court, at international institutions. I did not ask for it, but Italians did. Italians also told me this is going to be the case during MK Ultra. I Google Italian troops border Slovenia. I don't get any kind of information. I Google military. The only thing I get is Italy arranged states border control with the Slovenian response. That's all the fuck I get. I get one news 17 hours ago. I don't get any kind of news. If I go anytime, However, I get this news here, Italian border controls. Italy has currently reinstated border controls at its shared border with the Slovenia, also effective from October 31st, 2023. Decision part of Italy, broader strategy to enhance domestic security against the backdrop of heightened terrorism threats in Europe. Slovenia and Italy became latest countries, etc., etc. Italy reinstates border control with the Slovenia, cites attack risks. Uh, Italy reinstates border control with Slovenia, cites attack risk. Italy. Do you see anywhere military? Nowhere. The only thing I see is what concerned Yugoslavia. Right here that you see. It doesn't have nothing to do with exactly what happened during the last 24 hours. You can't see anywhere, anything. And it's interesting how Italian side is avoiding issue of military or troops
nothing, literally nothing in respect to military. This is a RTV Slovenia, this is a Slovenian thing in English. It says, Italian police and army units patrol border between Italy and Slovenia. It was, it goes all the way to December the 15, 2015, 15, 2015. Remember when I told you they already exercised this kind of stuff and they bullshitted me about in the future how they're going to do exactly what I stated you they will do? Well, from Italian or international media, you don't get any kind of picture about really what's going on on the border between the Italy and Slovenia. So what we have to do is we have to change this and uh, restrain the any time to past week like this. And still, you don't get any kind of information about what goes on. The only thing you get is in Slovenian, again, Slovenian post in English. This is again Slovenian. It says here, the Italians send the army to the border with the Slovenia. You don't get nothing. That's crazy. And it's exactly what I told you it's going to be. You see this? Gorica to Triet. It's exactly what I stated they have done to me in 2015. And they video recorded together with the Slovenian government to get a response from me and see but they're basically intimidated and tortured, tormented. They heavily tortured. Italians heavily tortured together with the Slovenian side. There is no information whatsoever about any military, any anything that would suggest Italian military in the border with the Slovenia. Huh? You see that? You see. You saw it clearly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we will change this into Slovenian language by writing Um, uh, please, excuse me. Uh, okay, that does make sense. Now you can see in Slovenian language everything over and over. You can see plenty of articles that are suggesting that Italians do have a military on the border with the Slovenia. So this is some kind of coordinated uh, action from Italian side supported from the European Union, in which you would not even reach any kind of news, anything about stuff I have spoken about. This is not a sole incident or something like this. Any kind of news like this is all coordinated. There is coincidence. It's a quite a deal when you send the military on the border with another European Union member state. I am not alarmed by what you see here. I am alarmed by something else. I am alarmed that the article, as you see right there, is not reported in English, that it's not documented, that it's not being shared, uh, that it's actually suppressed, pushed aside, quite invisible. I was looking to, uh, to get an idea about This article that I demonstrated you is very much coordinated with this article. According to MK Ultra program, these are the two articles the Italians used with Israelis, so I should say Israelis and Italians have used to shut my mouth in respect to Gaza and in respect to Italy, to keep silent as long and as much as possible. Under no circumstances to press any charges against the Italian fascist state. So there you have your Italian, uh, excuse me, Israeli ambassador here from Ljubljana stressing the issues I uh, mentioned to you earlier. Entire article, this individual have repeated me during MK Ultra, in which he reiterated that it's going to all depend on me, including my obtaining assistance. It's going to be part of the article that's going to suggest rockets in Slovenia and stuff like this. That will all depend on me on how I will pursue the situation between the Gaza and Israel. Nobody is sitting in a, in a shelter in Slovenia, basically, is what he's saying to the people that talk about Israeli apartheid. I never talked about any kind of apartheid in respect to the Israel during the current crisis. I did spoke about Israel have the right to exist, 
Israeli right to existence, I do, I'm not denying that, and have solely exposed the facts in respect to the war between the Israel and between the Palestinian part, remaining part of Palestine, Gaza. Nobody sitting inside of the shelters in Ljubljana while the rockets will be flying from Hungary, Croatia, Italy on Slovenian population. No, what he did was he didn't touch only Italy, but he also touched Hungary, Croatia, but during MK Ultra, he did have an accent on Italy, this guy. Italians put the border, uh, their military on the border with the Slovenia. Again, Italian government had me in the city of the Trieste with the Slovenian Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahor, government, politicians, Robert Golov, Slovenian parliamentarians, you name it. Slovenian pro-independence politicians walk me along the Trieste together with the military, with the carabinieri and so on, Italian, and demonstrated me basically what is it going to look like the border in the future between Slovenia and between the Italy. And it was again, first, Italians insisted, we will put the military on the border. It was like very aggressive. We're going to put the Italian military on the border. It's going to be on the Slovenian border. And they signaled me, ah, you know, the help is coming your way. And then it was like uh, three months or something like this after that. It clearly was all coordinated with the Slovenian government that was filming, video recording this incident. About three months after the Italian government, Mayor of Trieste, whoever that is, Italian politicians wrap up this uh, military exercise they had for the future when they would exercise this kind of stuff and they send them back wherever they come from. They remove the military away. But they insisted me as the same as to what Israeli ambassador insisted. It would be all depending on how you will see us and so on. So Italian fascists when doing nothing other than engaging in genocide against me together with the Serbs, with the Russians, and so on. Italian fascists from Rome also insisted me, it will all depend on me how they're going to see the situation in Ukraine. And they started to extort with a political turmoil in the future in respect to the war in Ukraine between the Russia and between the Ukraine. And as I already have published a few days ago news, it was Slovakia and Poland that jump-started a new fashion of publicly declining to further assist Ukrainian military uh, with much needed assistance, military assistance. Here I am referring to the post which I public, uh, published just three, four days ago. Uh, it's a post in which I refer to the latest issue, Polish issue, and that's basically excavation of Polish bones uh, from the World War II. Those who have fallen prey to the Ukrainian neo-Nazi politic 80 years ago. And I break this down, basically what I break down is the importance of bone excavation, Polish bones excavation from Ukraine uh, during a full invasion, Russian invasion on people of Ukraine. We already have over 300,000 Russian soldiers killed, probably have easily over half a million people dead within less than two years in Ukraine. And... Uh, we are now centering, concentrating on issues that basically are used as a follow-up uh, on in, what initially was this news here that you see released one month earlier from Poland, how one will no longer send any weapons to Ukraine. Uh, news that was again followed up closely from the West by setting up Zelensky inside the Canadian parliament with Ukrainian Nazi to whom entire parliament applauded. Uh, and then repeated from Poland also news from Slovakia on how they are not going to send any kind of weapons to Ukraine as well. Basically, it's like a kind of domino effect, Poland and Slovakia, and some special interests. I wouldn't even say elites, because it's a waste of oxygen, I think, these people is what they present. Attempted to use against Ukraine, like they were going to seize the moment and just work on this moment until they would uh, get Ukraine on knees, basically. So, we have, like, possibly, I'm going to say, I do not know, we, but we have a possibly a major rollover of American politics taking place with people such as Mike Johnson. I would just say, trying their best 
with Donald Trump and so on. Uh, but, you know, United States of America was not built yesterday. It was not Italians alone that built United States of America. I have a lot of good friends, people whom I liked in Italy, I've seen during MK Ultra. And I want to make enemies. That's why I said earlier when I said about this stuff, possibly who, this and that and so on. I don't want to go and just put the forks in entire Italy, attack Italian people, Italy and this and that. I don't want to go and do this kind of stuff because this is not what I'm here for. This is, this is not my legacy. This never was my legacy. But I do want to know, Italian people to know that what Italians did, especially after 91 when Slovenia became independent, when on behalf of British went on to even charge me, imprison me inside of the prisons around the Rome, throughout the Italy, and tortured me even inside of the prisons, that I am not going to lightly let you off the hook and will charge you, International Criminal Court and other institutions, with a genocide. The stuff I have dedicated my time to in this video clearly is indicating a certain patterns. These patterns are definitely not in what, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what Slovenian Italian police, uh, Italian government, which allowed uh, Slovenian government officials to really record themselves, does not convince me that Italian government has no territorial ambitions of already greatly reduced Slovenia. There is a piece of Slovenia just as big as this Slovenia that is was stolen from Slovenia on the border, on the other side of the border where Italy is. I am absolutely not convinced. You can give me any kind of guarantees about any of that. Um, the two guys from the hill from the United States of America are not going to convince me either. We are going to see each other in the United States of America for that matter, because this is highly uh, unethical stuff you got yourself involved in. You didn't have any kind of right to convince anybody about anything and even apply pressure on somebody in respect to future war in Europe uh, for the sake of uh, whatever is that you wanted to, whomever you wanted to assure um, that everything is just okay and so on and so forth. Nothing is okay. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, nothing is okay. Uh, I lost 51 years of life because of stuff like this. This here, this post is completely legitimate. It's totally legitimate. The United States of America government did use me to literally advertise ways to terrorist groups, uh, fractions, government fractions, I should say government, uh, I, I should say fractions, or n nations fractions that are impoverished, that are facing with a lot of, of challenge, with a big challenge, it's difficult for them, like for instance Houthi from Yemen, uh, to even exist, to exercise their own government, uh, they, they did use me to advertise ways on how to pull false flag attacks and get the feedback, get a uh, military response from the other side of the border. They did use me for that stuff or just do favors to other countries for whatever, for the money, for whatever the purposes, whatever it might be. And I did manage to connect these issues, which foremost, this man here triggered. This is the guy who triggered this stuff here. Yeah, Barack Obama, this is a very, very, this is, this is truly American presidency, extreme, extremely un-American. I don't know what to tell you. The guy was so corrupt, criminally corrupt, that is just unbelievable. Uh, just like myself, American citizen that uh, didn't only put my American citizenship on sale, but he also dared to cross the lines uh, charted clearly into the waters of Italian fascism advertised to me Italy as the only option, Italian citizenship uh, as the way
Did you know the money you spend destroys? Um, this guy was involved in my case since he was a child. You get it? His father was involved before this guy was born, way before this guy was born, even way before he met his wife. Um, Bernie Sanders is a huge fan of this guy here, a huge supporter. That's a warning to Bernie Sanders. Uh, this guy sided with Italian fascism, with a territorial needs, with territorial Italian ter it uh, expansionism of Benito Mussolini, we have seen in the past, and tasted on our skin here in Slovenia. Uh, it's a poor Democrat, and it's black, just like Barack Obama. I don't know how you're going to take that. I, uh, I'm i not out here to adopt black baby like Mike Johnson did to make commercial for myself before I would invade Somalia or Ethiopia, as was the case with colonial, with Benito Mussolini, is with Imperial Italy and they run people in Africa with the tanks over. Now, this is very nice that he did so. Um, you know, to the young couple from Hill, a journalism. I'm not here to, to please your political uh, views, agendas that you want uh, to enforce, basically, for me to cutter your political needs. Uh, I'm here to finish my case, beg your pardon, but it's been 51 years, as I stated, I lost because of people like yourself. And it seems to me like I would even have to apologize to this to young people uh, basically, that were born yesterday on my having the right to choose so, and would really distance myself from the politic that Central Intelligence says, I say, United States of America government enforced uh, through the total use of violence, posing with me. In front of these fractions around the world uh, to obtain sympathy, even in front of the Slovenian government, basically trying to say what? That everything is okay, that you got nothing to worry about with as far as the Italian Slovenian border and so on. Well, this is just not why I'm here. I'm not here for these reasons. This is not what I'm doing here. They insisted to me for Ukraine. Uh, on how each, how much each European country is going to contribute. Um, in other words, they insisted to me how the weapons from the United States, like a major support of Ukraine, could not be delivered without the support of the small countries. Um, Germany, due to its past, could not help Ukraine because of its past, without smaller countries also contributing and calls, international calls for assistance to Ukraine. They articulate, they articulate me this British fascism, imperialism, Nazism, by using Israel. Um, obviously, when it comes to Ukraine, even that Vladimir Zelensky called and compared uh, Ukraine himself to Israel, obviously, it's like a major, major difference at least it's pertaining to my case, why I don't see myself in it, why I see certain things from a certain point of view that not necessary is applying to every issue. They generalize. They generalize, basically, is what I'm trying to say, is they compare situation of Ukraine, of Israel, and my, they throw that in the same basket like this, in the same pot, demanded for me to exactly see myself in three issues, by also stating me the following about Israel, literally on how they can fake 
that people from other countries from abroad imitate abductions, hijackings, and used extort through international people uh, using Hamas, using certain fractions of Hamas, using certain terrorist groups control terrorist groups to portray certain picture. Only thanks to international support, international sympathy for certain systems that is so open to broader global society like Israel, uh, that by going this way that you can possibly not lose uh, seeing yourself in absolutely everyone that you possibly cannot lose. Um, window of opportunities and behind the windows of opportunities they pressured me with what i refer earlier as a nazi imperialist fascist greater than great britain buckingham palace royals issues which basically dictated me that if you are going to if you are going to complain about this one about this country or you are going to complain about that country or if, God forbid, you would say something about Italy, about the borders, and so on. Or, God forbid, you would do this, and so on. And for everything that you're going to say, you're going to gather the enemies from around the world. Uh, and your case, of course, if you will touch somebody like uh, from Italy, country, issues that were implicated in it will never get through, and so on. So you think this is a democracy? This is, this is a total fascism. This is a total fascism. This is a total Nazism. This is, this is imperialism completely indifferent from what used to be in colonial Africa, in colonial Mideast, in colonial South Africa. It just looks different. It gives the impression about mutual global cooperation with one another. But do you think this is okay? That the British royal deprived me of 51 years of life like this? I was born to be a slave? Non-existing human being? You like this shit? You think that the world is taking the right direction? That the problems can be just solved like this? You, do you want to live in this kind of abstract world where you want to mix Ukraine with Israel? The righteous issue such as is mine? With other issues and so on, you want to just go and generalize basically and wipe and delete. My God, this is fucking worse than what the Joseph Stalin was doing. You don't even fucking exist in the world in the matrix like this. It's just the countries, it's just the state people that walk all over the place, handshake, and you don't fucking exist. You're being blocked everywhere, and it's all kinds of issues and stuff that's being used against you. Smuggle you, beat you up, torture you, abuse you, barricade your house where your parents are. Take you from the job, do with you whatever they want to do at any time. Is this like the world that sounds like this sound like sound to you? Is it okay like this? This is imperialism, but this imperialism is fucking worse than any imperialism we have seen. The darkest period of the era of the human era that I know of. We didn't have anything like this, but nations are disappearing like this. People are disappearing, they're getting killed. We're getting killed left and right, faster and faster, I told you. It's the case is gonna be. So you think that this is okay, that the United Nations serves to this kind of purposes, that this is, this is the way it goes? I'm gonna give you A, B, C, D. We got four countries around me. On how Illuminati categorize you, on how you know you as a human being have fallen in a bracket of the people that are going to be, that are subjected to ethnic cleansing, to genocide. I want you to know exactly how the wheels turn inside of the brain of King Charles. Prince, now King Charles, uh, in the wheels, how the wheels are turning inside of the heads of the British royals, how basically they do it, like in the top, the pyramid, how they, how it's done, how you know you're a victim of it. 
basically what they do is they have a drawers they have a drawers and it's where they throw you in uh, whether you're a human being or you are part of a certain nation or wherever the needs they might territorial needs they that exist what they do is basically they store you people in the drawers that's what they did to me yeah and so they go like this yeah they look at your geographical area then they have this the same way you know like they draw these lines across the palestine or across the africa um you know totally colonialist colonialistic way yeah and then what they do is they go to these drawers uh and by before they throw in a drawer they ask you what is your name and uh, where are you from uh, or you come to america how that works or you come to britannia or some western country basically that's exactly how it works because they have a signature they have agreement with one another yeah? uh, so i think they have for one thing based on my observation as an eastern european i think they consider me as a as a non-human being for one thing that's my impression that's my feeling uh in the united states of america that goes into the much broader issue but again like i said they have this signature with one another yeah? and so the way they do this is these royals have a contract with the biggest partners you know like this is slovenia we have a border with italy austria i should say germany and on the east we have a hungary and we have uh, also croatia right down on the side yeah. so what they do is the first thing they do is they go and they go through the biggest partners in this case that will be straight border that will be with the italy and north that will be austria i should say germany uh so these are two partners when it comes to hungary uh croatia and then what happens is is basically the following yeah so you tell them my name is john or bobby or bustiano whatever you are gregor Janis. Uh, they look your geographical area in this case they go from italy and we have this guy from there what do you think about this and that and so on and then the only thing that happens is they literally start to enforce your life through the certain channels and they basically they close in they choke you for you to already see yourself in something that it doesn't matter if you don't have any fucking connection with it and they pull you and they choke you and they use their amnesty international and united nations and european so-called court for human rights and all kinds of ombudsmans for the human rights and issues and back and forth and they stretch and this and that and they have other people participate and watch and they get used to a new vision a new picture in their life and then uh, basically there you go that's a new product uh if you still exist um they have you sit a lot at home and wait uh pray go mad and insane but this was a regular procedure this is like in the united states of america is a normal thing to go and apply for the job and submit application write your data you know be nice boy everything take care of all that stuff and then you go home and you wait for the phone call to get through uh to be invited on the interview that's pretty much basically the way they do it with the people they fuck you they screw you they cut you away in that uh, circle of friends uh till they fulfill the needs of their partners in this case what we are talking about this is italian imperialism this is italian fascism i don't care who's gonna say what but that's exactly for what it is it's not okay 
I'm angry that I have people from United States of America. I got myself a citizenship because I speak English, because I have citizenship. That doesn't mean I want to be a slave. You understand these words? Are you fucking like energizer bunny or something like this? Boom, 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 boom. You just don't understand the fucking thing, do you? So I don't know how to articulate you this. I don't know how to make you understand that this is basically how the things are. Your input, your assistance, all your concerns are really not appreciated. Stop fucking playing with me at international court, at Amnesty International, at United Nations, at, at other agencies that you have opened that exist out there, Interpol and so on, and supposedly enforce the law and such from obtaining the fucking justice. Stay out of the fucking business. Italy was the country that performed more torture in Western part of the world when it comes to European continent more than any, absolutely more than any other country in Western Europe. Finally, the Serbs during MK Ultra torture inside of our residence, inside of our house, openly have flirted with the Russians and with the Serbs. What they do is they also make you feel just how vulnerable you are for your full effect to take place. So, you know, when it comes to Europa, unite, unite, when it comes to European Union, European security, I think we have a long way to go. And this is exactly how Italian state played all along. They would get Serbs, they would get Russians, and they would literally use me as an instrument, as a tool. I'm going to give you as an example. Fiat in Serbia was, after the fall of Yugoslavia, jump-started literally through this case. The Italian industry was using me to enter into the, through the Serbian market into Eastern Europe. Uh, well, actually, for the manufacturing purposes, literally for the investments, they would be using this issue uh, to stress me uh, how important it is, and it was all for my benefit, but at the same time, they were stressing me about the importance to become Italian, basically to rather see myself as open-minded person. This is about open-minded, it's like I earlier stated, person that is brain dead, brain killed. There is your uh, Italian fiat, Fiat from Italy in uh, Serbia, in Kragujevac factory, for which Italians glorify me so much. Even Serbs thanked me for it. It was so great. All done, I was told, through this case. And the next picture, you have a Renault I was talking about a little earlier, when I depicted you one for the city of the Novo Mesto. Uh, contrary to the Russia, where French have given their Renault, Lada to Russia worth 2.4 billion dollar for one cent, one ruble equivalent to one cent factory for 2.4 billion dollars. But this is the company, the French, that gave me shit time here in the Novo Mesto company. They opened in 1972. From my point of view, to misrepresent me to the Slovenian police, basically to give the Slovenian police documentation necessary to the one as to which I cited earlier, Slovenian opposition needed to present me as a traitor. Basic continuation of what Josip Broz Tito started, commenced at my early childhood. Yeah? And they didn't fuck me only, talking about the French people, that were used to literally interrogate, I understand, even get statements from the locals about how Italian occupation would be welcome here. But yeah, as is evident from the sentence, also other people in area. So kind of a double standards from French uh, uh, and Italians, for whom I actually even have a reason to believe 
did this stuff at request of Russia, Serbia, not only Ljubljana and others. I think it was more than this. I think that this is what Italians and French, this is evident from the case. As of today, up to date, were in it. When it comes to Italy, as far as I'm concerned, um, I, I am actually quite speechless about Italian criminal conduct against me. I don't know even where, how I would, how I would qualify this, where I would fit this into, because of what I stated to you right now. Uh, to me, when it comes to Italy, when it comes to this murderous Italian government involvement in my case, uh, I'm going to repeat to you very, very clearly why am I going to take you to the court. God help me destroy you at the court. It's one more time that you hear me. It's because you incited, you demanded from me, demanded, you had demands, you demanded from me a complete compliance. Literally using French, German, Scandinavian, British, American government to follow you, to become your follower, your supporter of Italian occupation in Slovenia, while at the same time, since of course you were using the Slovenian police also all along to get me transferred to the Italy, people literally from Milan Kuchan, from Vladimir Putin, you are obtaining against me a necessary documentation for the Slovenian government to get me destroyed, killed, in front of my own people. Exactly what Josip Bros Tito started in my early childhood, so that you, have, you will understand that in my case, you played the role which was completely indifferent to the one of the Russians and to the Serbs from the eastern part of the world. What you were to me in the West, you, the Italy, is exactly what Russians and Serbs were to me from the East. It was absolutely no difference between you, between the Russians and between the Serbs in my case. I just want you to know, understand, it also goes to the United States of America government, which misrepresented me against other people, use me against other nations, against other people for what I stated was really a criminal conduct as an example for the terrorists on how to, I'm not going to say misbehave, but something I never was part of and was used to misrepresent me, basically, to get their goals, imperialism, fascism, colonialism done. With God's help, and I'm going to do like this, with God's help, I'm begging God, with God's help, I will submit one more criminal charge against all of you through your international institutions and charge you with crimes against humanity that are pertaining to my very case for the genocide they committed against me for turning into hell 51 years of my life to infect me with a cancer and demand from me, as you sadistically refer to this part of genocide as that you will have to do it by yourself. And it's really easy to get four hours of sleep and 50%, not even 50% out of the four hours of sleep. You don't know how the fuck easy that stuff is. But with God's help, I am gonna submit one more time that to your godly, ears to your godly international criminal court or your European court for human rights and to your all your Eli institutions that you have all this freedom that you have to offer to this world. Just one more time, I don't know and I don't give a fuck if it's gonna go through or it's not gonna go through. Money definitely never ever is gonna pay, never ever is gonna compensate for the suffering I got in return for me to see myself in you as a European. For me, at your request and your demands, for me to see myself in debt, basically debt is you, 
that's a Europe, that's the European Union, that's a Italy. Those are the people. That's United States of America, that's NATO. That's what you have done for me. That's something for what I can thank you for. With God's help, that one more time I am going to do this. It's going to be up to God anyways, how this and that. But with God's help, that I'm going to complete this and throw you in your face the truth one more time before the world. Either way, I think I did a good job because for today, world knows you way better for what you really are, what humanity, you have reminded humanity throughout the time over and over again and pointing out direction to the way the whole thing is going. If there was a difference between the Italy and between the Russia, Serbia from the east, since this is as close as it comes to the two, representing its intentions from the West, if there was a difference, there definitely was less violence, there definitely was less direct cancer-wise type of issues that would be used against me. They did not go as far as Russians and Serbs in direct attacks. Uh, like injecting one with a cancer and that kind of stuff. I, I would not make this kind of claims. I don't recall that kind of stuff. Uh, but probably even more scrupulous, more susceptible genocide, more subtle, mischievous, lying, treacherous, backstabbing. Yeah, that's Italy, all right. Turning the Western world into something completely different for its British-alike, imperialistic, fascistic, greed, needs, colonization, maybe even obligation toward Putin to fulfill his needs, I don't know, Russian needs, Serbian needs, who the fuck knows. For me, when it comes to Italy, uh, this is a grave, basically, the road to hell. It's like you would go to the tunnel of death. It's like a long, long and painful uh, suffering, full of suffering, satanic ritual road that I had at about 51 years ago. Toward Rome and toward Berlin, basically. That's about the best description I can come to when it comes to the Italy, to the Vatican. You want to know what Vatican in Italy to me is, is a long, long road to the hell, to the bottom of the hell. Walk towards Satan, basically. That's what that is. I don't know, really, when I think about Gorizia, Gorizia, about this Italian males, adults, posing in front of me, giving me hope such as they would even adopt me, take me as a child to them, and so on and so forth, viewing right across the border to this Yugoslav National Army, what they were doing with me. My God, you're a fucking beast on that Italian side. God forbid you ever fucking come here in any way, other than as a tourist.